I hope my team wins that. I really don't want to play that anymore. Um, okay. So I'm going to update my status here because we're going to go into the PvP portion of... Oh god. Where is it? Yeah, March Madness. And I was saving this to take because uh, I I still feel happy to take it into O tier PvP. Unless we end up in like a tier six game, then I will cry tears of. Six. Sadness. Tears, yeah. Six, six tears. I can actually look ben, and see if I spent all he my yes. He cried yes, a tear for the Scorpion. He cried a tear for the BMD. <laughs> <laughs> cried a tear for the Renaults. All those Chinese tanks. Coastal yep. threat. Oh, <laughs> coastal threat. Coastal threat. All right, this is a map I don't know. So I played it maybe five times, uh, and I've seen it played a couple of times, uh, but I really don't don't know all of the sight lines and everything very well. So, uh, but I know there, there are lots of little alleys up in here, and there's a big long one up here. You just have to be careful of flanking from these little roads. And people can shoot you from here, and they can shoot you from over in this area. So let's see, BMD2, Chief to Mark 6, M60A3. They do have artillery. BMP1. They don't really have the BMD2. It's a pretty good scout. But we have a BMP2, which is, I'd say, probably pretty comparable. Probably down to, to the player playing. We don't really have very much heavy armor. To be quite honest, our Leo 185 is like our top MVT, and they've got a 60A3 and a Chieftain Mark VI. The Chieftain Mark VI is not great armor, but I mean, at the, when it's top tier, it's not bad. So we're just gonna kinda see what we can do. Our turret should protect us for the most part. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going this way. Um, I see that there's a T-64 down there, but I think there's gonna be more stuff up here. And I really don't wanna get into a fight where I'm having to constantly uh, show my hull because that's, that's where my weakness lies, so. So we're gonna go ahead and just try to play this little ridge here. Put a shot in there. Anybody wants to give a sign or we're more than happy to take that. Yes, the map is good, but only to a point. It's gonna be really hard to pen this 60A3, to be honest. There we go. There's the 59. And we gave the side of our turret. We're gonna have to back down. They have envelopment here. 
do. Looks like I'm kind of like the only person left over here, to be honest. Some guys behind me, but they're piecing out. I should probably back up a little bit. Okay, that was in the top of my turret, too. We're gonna keep, gonna keep this area pressured. We don't want to just give it up. But our team is... <laughs> our team is pretty much dead. So we're just gonna kind of like... Yeah, he keeps shooting the... Shooting the ground. No effect on that. The problem is there's really nothing anybody can do to that. Um, that 68-3 from the front. We may fix fix our gun. It's like our kind of our our number one asset. And Arnie, so fun. Shot in and then we die. So what could we have done differently? Um, I don't know. I, I could have backed off. I didn't really want to just let them run through here. Because as soon as I left, that's pretty much what they were going to do. I don't know why it took them so long to push on me, to be honest. Uh, we really needed, we needed our team to survive, but we were, we were a little behind. Lever 1A5 really isn't a frontline MBT, and they had kind of two frontline MBTs. They had the 68-3, as you can see, the 68-3, I mean, what do we have here that could really deal with it? Uh, Lever 1A5 could probably put shots through it. Uh, ideally, we would have where I was would have been a good spot for the 1A5 because he could have rolled up and put shots reliably through that uh, through that 1A5 or through the uh, 68-3. But he went down into the into the streets and there's not enough rubble in the streets of the the built-up area to really provide you with any kind of holdout cover, which is what the the 1A5 needs. Where you need to be you need to be back far enough that you can move up, shoot, move back. Uh, you can't really get into like city brawling with it. And I didn't exactly see what happened, but I'm pretty sure that's kind of kind of what happened to him. Yeah, he did 354 damage. So he did one shot worth of damage. Uh, and we just had too many people that we, you saw the swing fire just kept launching missile, 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 and he ended up doing 42 damage. Probably rammed by someone or into someone. Uh, M60 didn't do anything. Scorpion, 20 damage. Uh, so... Up here, I mean, oh, what, everybody kind of puts something in. Uh, tier 4. I was tier 4, okay, so we I had was say, uh, like a couple tier 3s like... and some tier 5s. Yeah. So, I, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, because you're using four, like your premium. But we got... Uh, I, well, I'm trying to get my win on my uh, Type 69 2 which is the ch new Chinese tier 4 MBT. Uh, so, but, unfortunately, it looks like we won that set game good. I don't have to go back and play that again. It wasn't a very good game, but uh, not, not the best maps on rotation today, so I'm, I'm happy to kind of be done with it. That's fine. So let's try this again. I would like to get something that's not Coastal Threat. I do need to learn Coastal Threat, but... At what cost? At what cost, exactly? Definitely not my win rate. Come on now. Let's, let's get real. 
Oh, we already did. Back down to 60. And I think the real problem with this tank um, is that it's basically a Type 59. So it's basically a Tier 3 uh, upgunned. So it's got a bigger gun on it, but it, the armor doesn't get any better. Luckily, you have a pretty good turret, um, and your armor was pretty decent at Tier 3. So it's not the end of the world. Oh, goodness gracious. Tier 6 again. Or what, no, last, last game was tier 5. This is going to be re really interesting. <laughs> uh, tier 4 and tier 6 game. What do they have? The O2AV type 85. Two VFMs. I can probably pin the VFMs. kind of wish I didn't have so much heat with me, but... Say la vie. That's French. That's French. Means something. Really. Retreat. Yep. Driver cranking. Affirmative. Got our scan to target. So I kind of feel like on this map, it's not one of my favorites, but I feel like the game is pretty much won and lost uh, up here in the north. The south side is also important. I mean, it's definitely not bad to go down there, but um, I feel like usually the action all takes place up here. And since I am a tier four MBT, I don't want to be up in the front. There's a fox. So you should have held our shot. We could have... Oh, Artie's trying to hit me. Priority target here. I'll just throw a blind shot down there. with it, but you never know. So it looks like the majority of them are down here. So we, we have so many tanks up here, we need to really take advantage of this and clear this side out, like now. Oh, that guy's pissed, he just bounced off a of tier 4, lol. He didn't that time, but that's all right. So we should try to press our advantage up here. Um, we have them should be outnumbered. We have our higher tiers up here. Uh, and we should have a pretty solid defense in the south. So, but we can't we can't wait around. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move. I'm a tier four. I don't care. I don't even care. And that guy just got shit on. Being targeted by the fox for destruction. That's fine. He can designate me. Um, I don't mind it, because I'm not going to give him any shots, and honestly, <laughs> if I die, I'm not super consequential to this match. I don't have a really great gun, uh, but I don't want to die, but that's it. So we stole a kill there for 44 damage. We're going to go ahead and push this way. There's the BFM. What we want to do is get a crossfire down here. Split their, oh, split their attention. 
so that they can't they can't just have it all their own way down there because they're starting to thin it out and we need to we need to get a move on and we're gonna have vision we just have to get in range to where we can put shots on them so where is this VFM Oh look, here's all their light stuff that was shooting at us. We spotted by... Huh, where's the BFM? Alright, so we took a hit on that. We didn't really want to, but we put a hit in return, so... That's what we're gonna do, we're just gonna kinda... Kinda pop out here. VFM's trying to come get us. Oh, where did that shot go? No, that was mine. I was robbed. Okay. I don't... I don't know about that. Go ahead and just repair that. I'll oh, stay alive. This was never gonna be a very good game, but... We're still alive spotted by something. Hopefully not the fox. Okay, that fox is over there. Another hit in. Our team did a good job of exploiting, uh, exploiting that opening that they left. Once we knew exactly where the majority of them were, they pushed through, and then we came down through the kind of middle of the map and got a crossfire going on. And they didn't necessarily have a bad plan, it's just we actually had enough uh, difficult to displace takes down there, like the 2AV and others, that it made it a little tough for them. And I was pff, bottom of the list, but honestly, it's going to be hard to do all that much in this game. Zalo's going to be able to spot a lot as a tier 4, give me something that I can spot with. I'm happy to play a higher tier game. But this, I don't know, it's going to be tough. So, whatever. We, we got it. What's the, uh, what's your next tank review? Uh, I want to do the Leopard 2A6, and I need to actually, like, sit down and do it. Take it, play a few games, get some good stuff. Go get it in some sticky situations. Yeah, it's it's a really good. It's like the first of the Leopard Twos that I really liked. Uh, I felt I like all the other the ones were just. The leopards were all trash. Yeah, yeah. The Leopard Two AV was pretty good, but you had a really uh, weak and big lower plate, so it it gets a little limited in certain situations. Um, the Leopard Two was. I felt like it was just garbage. The gun handling was garbage. The armor really isn't all that good. It's fine against its own tier, but as soon as you're facing anything higher, it's really weak. Um, and it's not all that mobile. Um, the 2A5 solves the armor problem, and it's decently mobile, but I really felt like the gun, compared to the other tier 8s, was you have really poor aim time and your accuracy it's like until you're fully aimed the accuracy is no better or worse than anything else I think when you're fully aimed but 
before that, you can't really, like, take snapshots with it, because they'll literally just go wild. Like, it's really odd. Most stuff you can, and you can bet most of them will go towards the middle, but with that, it's like, it just goes fucking slice. And, uh... The 2A6 is really the first one that I feel like, okay, the gun is under control, um, and it's, it feels good to play. For me, anyways. Uh, you know, everybody has their own preferences. Alright, so 2AV, 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 MBT70. Uh, they've got a Palmeria, they have a Fox. What do we have to counter the Fox? Nothing. Okay, so they outspot us. We have a MP2. It's not gonna outspot a fox. Fox is just retarded. Driver Craig. Um, Gunner scam target. So I'm gonna kind of just see what what is our team gonna do deployment wise. Because I could I could kind of go either way here. I wanna I wanna push the position that's gonna be the strongest. Looks like a lot of stuff is going over there. I've seen this new trend um, from this side of the map especially to sort of not go down here. Okay, so there's a 2AB. I have a feeling 2AVs and BT-70. I have a feeling we're going to see more down here because they're platooned. Oh, shit. Just go ahead and erase him. Yep, okay, so there's the other 2AV. See if we can't scoot across here without getting wrecked. Try to get past this RDF. Whoop, whoop. I'm gonna go help this 85 too. That's fine. They got my engine. Are you fucking serious? We're not gonna let these guys have it their own way. That's just not gonna be a thing. We're gonna fix the engine because we need that. Really? That's that's our strength is our engine. We're just gonna keep putting these shots in, guys. Keep doing it. We need to make sure that these guys don't get around behind us. There we go, there's another shot in. We're gonna make them, make them punish for every single shot they wanna take. And they're not pushing. See, they're just sitting back there. They're giving us they're giving us our, our low rate of fire and they're not punishing it. Eh, we, we missed that one. We're on like a little hill, we keep bouncing around. Okay, they got the MBT-70 over there too. Slip, but their whole platoon is here now. Trying to figure out that if they go out too far. And he's shooting HE at me. And that's kind of a good thing, because that means he doesn't feel accurate enough to pen me. Um, I don't mind if he wants to shoot HE at me. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it here. No, that wasn't it. 2AV, we gotta be careful. Okay, we got the XM1 here too, so. As soon as we have our backs cleared, I think we should start to push, to be quite honest. I'm gonna push up. I think they are worried. I think they are somewhat worried about what's going on on the other side of the map. And see what they've done, see what their MBTs have done. They've isolated themselves from their entire team. Their entire team got murdered 
while they sat here trying to kind of like play back and forth. We rushed that a little bit. I wasn't sure if he was reloaded. I don't really want to take most of my health and damage in the next shot. Eh, those textures, they are so off with the collision models. Come on, re fix your track, fix your track. Nope, oh, he's gone. Well, we lost a little damage here at the end, but that was a pretty good game. Uh, we kept their big their big platoon, which should have been their coordinated MBTs. Uh, three MBTs together could have really been a force in that game. But instead, they kind of just got stuck over there. They didn't really do anything. Um, and you can't really do that. You can't really isolate yourself from the rest of your team. That's why I don't like going normally to positions like that where you're the map has cut you off from your team. Uh, that's why I don't like the, the dam on uh, Reactor. Uh, and I went over there because I saw they were over there and I said, you know what, I'm, I don't want them. Once, if they can push through there, that's bad for us. But if we can keep them over there while the rest of our team uh, does their thing, then that's, that's not such a bad thing. So we weren't like top on our team, but we did pretty good. 3,500 damage. Should have put a few more shots in. We took some pretty poor shots there. Kind of rushed a few of them. Uh, but it wasn't a bad game. So you always kind of want to just be thinking about um, Whatever, whatever place you decide to position yourself, you know, how are you going to... A, how are you going to escape if things go bad, right? You always need to have an escape plan. Um, and you want to make sure, what are you gaining by going there? Those three MBTs didn't really have all that much to gain by going over there. I, th I think they kind of did it because they were like, oh, this is where MBTs go, and you know, you drive over there. A lot of MBTs will just drive over there and then duke it out. They're like, nothing can shoot us from the side because we're over here. And while that's true, you can't really, you know, affect the rest of the map. So I started out kind of in the middle because I wanted to be able to react to whichever side I saw was going to have have a problem. In that case, I felt like, you know, we had we had the 185-2 down there and I didn't want him to just get chopped up. And then they come through and, and start to move on the town and the rest of the map. So I chose to go over there. Oh, you know what? I forgot.